IPv6's EUI64 calculation performed live on an iOS router. If you're wondering what in the world is EUI64, you've come to the right place. Let's begin. Our objective for this nugget is simple. We want to first of all identify what the heck is a link local address and then secondly how do we calculate or how does the iOS router calculate what its link local address is going to be. So let's start off with IPv6. IPv6 uses 128 bits to represent an IP address. Part of that is the network on the left and the other part is the host portion. In most cases we're going to have a 64 bit split. That means 64 bits on the left is the network, 64 bits on the right is the host. That's not always the case, but that is most of the time going to be the case for most IPv6 users. So one thing that we have to understand is that in an IPv6 network, a link local address is going to be created on every single interface that runs IPv6. So it's likely we're going to have a global address that's reachable from the rest of the internet, and we're also going to have a link local address that's only reachable on our local segment. To create that link local address, it does this. For the network address, the network portion, the first 64 bits, it's going to use FE80 and a whole bunch of more zeros until it reaches a 64-bit boundary, and that's the network portion. For the host portion, it does some crazy magic. Check this out. For the host portion using EUI64, it's going to take the MAC address, yeah, the layer 2 address off that interface and say, well, let's use those 48 bits. And then there's a problem. It's like we need 64 bits and we only have 48 from the MAC address. What else are we going to do? Well, then they stuff 16 more bits right in the middle for a total of 64 bits. So as an example, let's say that this interface had this MAC address of 0000, and this is a hexadecimal representation, A, B, C, D. 1111. So if that was the MAC address, here's what would happen. We take that MAC address, cut it down the middle, and we'd add to it F, 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 E in the middle. And that represents 16 more bits. So we have the 48 bits from the MAC address plus 16 bits. So the end result would have F, 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 E stuck in the middle. Now it gets a little bit more interesting that you deserve to know about, and that is we also are going to flip one bit before we actually make this our EUI64 address. So what we're going to do is this. I shouldn't say we. What the router is going to do. These first two characters represent the first eight bits. So if we break these out into binary, this would be 0000 and 0000. Here's our handy dandy conversion chart. So here's the hex zero and there's the four zeros represented by each. What we're going to do is we're going to flip the seventh bit. And that bit is often referred to as the U bit, U as in universe, and it's the universal slash local bit. And we're going to flip it. So the, that bit, if we flip it, it's going to look like this. I'll put it in a different color here. It's going to be 0010. So if we convert that back to hex, is that, because that's how we represent IPv6 addresses, this is going to be a 0, and this is going to be a 2. This is the 8 position, the 4 position, the 2 position, the 1 position. That'd be a 2. So the, the final result would be 0, 2, which we just did that bit flipping on the 7th bit. 0, 0, A, B, stick in the F, 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 E, and then C, D, 1, 1, 1, 1. And that, my friends, is our EUI 64 address for the host ID that it's automatically going to use. Now, there's nothing like seeing is believing, so let's do this. Let's uh, enable IPv6 on this interface. Let's hard code this MAC address on that interface and take a look and see whether or not that's the link local address that's generated. I've taken the liberty on this interface right here to hard code the MAC address to the example we just shared. Let's just go ahead and verify that, that detail is in place. I'm going to do a show command of interface gig 2 slash 0, but I'm going to pipe it out so it only shows us any output that have lines including the word BIA. So that'll include the hard-coded MAC address and the configured MAC address. So if we take a look at those two right here, this is the MAC address that I've configured on it. And here's the link local address that it's using. So if we line those up, check this out. We'll go from right to left together. We have the, I'll get a green arrow here. We have the 1111 checks out with 1111. Excellent. We have the CD that checks out with this CD. We have injected in the middle FFFE, so that works out. And then we have A, B to the left of that. And what causes people a lot of grief is this part right here. So we have 0, 0, 0, 0, and they say, that says 200. How could that possibly be? Well, it goes back to our concept that these are all hexadecimal, and we're flipping the seventh bit. So we break out those first two 
hexadecimal characters, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. We flip the seventh bit, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like that. Now it becomes 0, 0, 1, 0. This now becomes a 0 in hex, and this becomes a 2 in hex, which would be 0, 2, 0, 0. And because in IPv6, you don't have to represent a leading 0. It's simply showing it as 200, which is a perfect matchup then for this 0, 0, 0, 0 to reflect this 0, 2, 0, 0. In this micro nugget, we've taken a quick look at the method that's used to calculate the host ID portion, the last 64 bits in an EUI 64 format. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.